Uh... <laughs> All right, welcome. Thanks for joining us at FanFest today. We have a couple reminders before we start our kids' press conference. We're going to be clearing the room after every session. And that's going to allow as many fans as possible to experience the programming throughout the day. If you would like to come back in for the next session, please leave the room and get in line and we'll allow as many people in as possible uh, until the room reaches capacity, which we're about at now. We do invite the children to line up behind the microphone, not now, in the center room to ask a question to the players. Tyler is gonna line up some youngsters to ask questions. So uh, we'll get you guys all up here. We're not in a rush. We'll get a lot of people, we'll get a lot of questions in. Uh, this is not uh, a time where we do autographs, photos, hugs, etc. This is not an opportunity for autographs or photos, so keep that in mind. It's a time for the kids' press conference and the kids ask the questions. We'll get through as many questions as possible in the time allotted, and so uh, thanks for being with us. This young man on your right made the Orioles as a Rule 5 draft pick last year. He had a great spring training. You'll see him in the outfield this year, Joey Rickard. And next to him, this young man did a pretty good job in the Oriole bullpen. Eight wins, right-handed batters hit 156, fourth among American relievers in strikeouts, Michael Gibbons. Let's get to why you're here. The kids ask the questions. Let's start. Go ahead, young man, you're up. That you did most that made you get to the major leagues. Oh, uh, um, there's just so many. I mean, it starts, you know, at your age. It's just it's, it's that willingness to, to do whatever it takes, and you just gotta kind of gotta know yourself and just just kind of have fun the entire way. And uh, you know, God works in mysterious ways, and uh, you'll get there if it's meant to be. Big part is it's having fun. Um, if you love baseball the way we do, and we just compete every day and play with your peers and have fun doing it. Good question. Next. Hi, my name is Zach, and my question is for Michael Gibbons. Um, when you pitch sidearm, how does it affect the way you grip the ball? Uh, it doesn't really affect the way I grip the ball. I just have to stay true, staying towards the home plate, just like any if, you, if I threw up top. So I have to stay directly to uh, home plate. Okay, thank you. Thank you. He's going to be a side armor. My question is for both of you. Who were your favorite players when you two were growing up? Ooh, that's easy. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. was, I feel like I was the guy that I wanted to idle my game after. Uh, I believe he's one of a kind and one of the best ever. Same as well, Ken Griffey Jr., uh, always at a uh, very young age, got to see him grow up and uh, love the fact that he got to play with his uh, father. So I'm um, a big Seattle Mariners fan, and watching them grow up is really an honor. Thank you. What's your favorite sport besides baseball? Basketball. I'd be dunking if I could, but I can't do that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Mine's basketball as well, so I'm, I'm kind of upset that uh, I wasn't blessed with any height, but, uh, you know, baseball, I'll take it. Ooh, look at that sign. What's, what is the funniest advice Buck Showalter gave you, and what's the best advice he ever gave you? Ooh. I mean, it's pretty cliche, but he said just go out there and be yourself is the best advice he's told me. Uh, just They like you for a reason, and just don't try and do too much. Um, just go out there. Uh, if we take care of individual jobs, we'll be able to have our success and uh, go far in our uh, playoff push and just being yourself. Um. Who were your favorite teams growing up? Uh, growing up in Las Vegas, we had the, the TBS station, so the, the Atlanta Braves were always playing. So I grew up watching the Braves and, and Chipper Jones and Andrew Jones and all those guys. So that was my team. 
uh, Seattle Mariners fan growing up, Ken Griffey Jr., Edgar Martinez, Alice Rodriguez, and so far. They were the team I got to watch growing up and uh, enjoyed to uh, admire of what, what kind of players they are. Thank you. Um, why are you number 60 and why are you number 23? <laughs> That's a really good question. I, I don't know why. I just uh, when I first got called up, there was a number in there, and when you're being a rookie, you don't say much. You just uh, take it. That's true. They pick for you. Uh, I showed up and I was just searching for my locker, and I just happened to be 23. So I'd like to know the answer as well. Thank you. <laughs> How did you hit the home run after Manny Machado did? Uh, oh. um, it just, it's just one of those things It just happens. Uh, you know, they're not trying to, uh, to pitch around me, so they're going to you know, give me a lot to hit because there's some big boys behind me. Are you play baseball? Are they making his Joe Racker yep. bobblehead? Oh, you, that's awesome. <laughs> you have a bobblehead? Do you both think you are going to be gold glovers? I mean, you never really want to doubt yourself, so I mean, I think that's always in the back of your mind, but uh, you kind of just go about your business and just do whatever you can do to help the team. I don't think they really go glove for bullpen, but we, we should put that in, though. Thank you. How can I get a scholarship so I can go to the major league? Uh, school. Grades. Very important. Uh, keep your grades up. That was the biggest important to my childhood and all the way through high school, keeping my grades up and make sure that I stay focused to keep my grades up and when I have to go out there and compete and when college uh, coaches look at you, they look at you at your grades first, then look at you at your skill set. Yeah, you'll get a lot more opportunities if, you're, if your grades are in line, and uh, everybody needs, you know, more, at least more than one chance, so it definitely helped me get to where I am today. Good question. Thank yeah. you. What do you like to do besides baseball? I'll, uh, all season, I've been trying to play golf, but I don't really call it golf. I call it a lot of fetching. So uh -huh. um, that's a, another sport I'd like to hopefully get better at. But we have, we, have, we have plenty of time to get better, though. I don't do anything. I lay around. I'm really lazy. Uh, I eat a lot. That's, <laughs> that's pretty much my life. So. <laughs> What's your favorite color besides orange? <laughs> Red. Um, my favorite color, blue. And sad, sad to say, I would, I, before I got drafted, I did not like orange and black, but <laughs> I, I didn't really make that decision when I got drafted, so I got the like orange and black and now blue. What, what was the hardest transitions from the minors to the majors? Ooh. Good question. Um, just. Like every level is gonna, you're gonna make adjustments. Um, learning the new atmosphere, the uh, road trips, and when you get to the big leagues, just, just still be yourself, but at the same time, just make adjustments and be, uh, be able to learn. That's the biggest thing. Be able to cope the mm -hmm. information you get. Yeah, there's a lot more studying that goes into into this level than any other level that I've been of, and uh, also. The schedule, the schedule is a little more, you know, grooming on your body, and uh, it's very tough to, to make yourself last. Thanks. Thanks. Joey, do you remember going to Beth the Phila camp in the, over the summer? Yes, I do. I had a lot of fun. Were you there? Yeah. You, you signed this ball. Oh, that's awesome. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Good seeing you again. Start playing baseball. 
I was around 12 or 13. Uh, I guess basketball is my first love, and then I quickly transitioned over to baseball when I stopped growing. <laughs> uh, I started playing baseball at the age of three, and uh, just my uncles and my grandfather was into it, so I kept uh, playing. How does it feel to hit a home run? That's him. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen often, so for me it's, it's very, you know, it's breathtaking. It's, it's something I really can't explain, uh, rounding the bases and just coming home to uh, touching home and seeing your teammates, you know, go crazy and throw seeds at you. It's really, it's really something you can't explain. It, it's, it's amazing. Who's your favorite football player? Favorite football player? Des Bryant. Come on, you're in Baltimore. Can I change that? <laughs> Flacco. Justin Tucker. <laughs> Your first answer was fine. Plus, I like the Cowboys, so it makes more sense. <laughs> okay. Don't say that. <laughs> Who's the fastest person on your team? Me. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, I'll give it to him. He had, he had what, the most stolen bases on our team last year, so I'll give it to him. Thank you. Like, what age did you start seriously considering baseball as your profession? Sophomore, junior year, high school, I, I realized that I might have a chance at this thing, and uh, I had a great group of support around me, great high school coaches, and uh, yeah, sophomore, junior year. Uh, when I was a really young kid, when I um, had my sights on what I want to be when I grow up, was a major league baseball player. Just kept pushing and didn't let nobody tell me that I was not capable of doing it, just having the support group and all my friends and family to push me to the right direction. What is your favorite favor of pie that you got hit in the face with? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, we're, we're not allowed, allowed to get hit in a pie no more, but I don't know. I'd say the straight whipped cream is, is the best. It's the softest of the pie. It's, yeah. it's a lot softer than the apples and the berry pies, so just anything with a lot of whipped cream on it is fine. Do you like M&M's? I love M&M's. <laughs> While I am looking forward to the upcoming season, are you disappointed at all that Matt Weeders is gone? Um, yeah, it sucks that he's, that he's not here uh, with us, but uh, you know, it's a profession and everybody is, you know, it's one big family, this baseball community, and uh, we wish him the best and uh, I hope to see him again. Okay, thank you. Do you miss doing yeah. the Royal Farms commercials? Nice! <laughs> Good question, I've been getting I do, I do. Uh, living out in the West, I don't get any Royal Farms chicken out there, so uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting my first meal in. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do outside of the ballparks? I explored when we go to different cities through the West Coast and um, all the way back up here, just enjoying to sightseeing. Same here. We wake up, you know, at a decent hour and just try and take it all in. And it, you know, we'll yelp some restaurants and we'll try and just explore good, good brunch places or something like that. So we we like to explore. Trying out for travel baseball soon. Do you guys have any advice for me? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, just have fun. Uh, at your age, that's what that's what the goal is, and uh, that's when you're really really at your best. Is is when you're out there, not thinking too much, not worrying about what else is going on. So, when you're on the field, just enjoy it. Stay stay positive and compete, and uh, learn with your peers, and have fun doing it. Don't ever. Uh, Get down on yourself if you have a bad day yeah. and, and have fun. It's the biggest time of your life to be where, who you, where you're at. Yeah. Who's your favorite baseball player that's not yourself? Uh, Michael Givens. 
Joey Ricker. <laughs> Do you like Buck Showalter as your manager? Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, yes, we do. He's a really great manager, and especially the the process of what he's been doing and turning around the city with a lot of his wins and helping us get back where we at. And um, from the days he's been here, it's been uh, helping our city really trying to get back to a winning city. It is. It's more than baseball with him. He he cares about a lot of things. You know, the whole city of Baltimore and. Uh, He's very intelligent, so he knows, he know, he's always one step ahead of you, so he's very fun to play for. Yeah. What's your favorite sport other than baseball? I'm, I'm, I'm going to do basketball. That was my, my first love uh, growing up. That's what I picked up uh, when I had all the balls in front of me as a little kid. And uh, yeah, basketball. Yeah, same, same here, basketball. Um, played that through my, uh, my childhood as well as uh, baseball. Um, when I knew it wasn't good enough, I threw it, threw it in the closet and picked, stayed with baseball. Michael, did you throw a sidearm your whole life? Good question. Uh, no, I didn't throw a sidearm my whole life. Um, uh, right before I got to high school, like uh, bruised a little, I bruised my shoulder, and I used to throw it really up top. Then I went to rehab and try to throw naturally on top, and it wasn't working for me. And then naturally start getting lower and lower, and then kept with the arm slot was comfortable with me. What are both of your favorite pizza toppings? Uh, uh, pepperoni, pepperoni and bacon. Ooh, that's good. Uh, I like pepperoni, but once in a while I'll throw a little pineapple on there and some sausage. Just, you really can't go wrong with pizza. What is yours? What's your favorite pizza? Sausage. Nice. Yes. Oh, I said sausage. What type of car do you have, and what type of car do you want to have? <laughs> uh, I have a... Uh, 2016 Tahoe, and I would like to have a uh, G-Wagon. Wow. Uh, you know, I stick to my roots. I still have my 2012 Maxima, and uh, I would like to have a Bentley at some point in my life. What's the weirdest gift you have ever received from a fan? Oh, uh, oh weirdest yeah. gift. Hmm. Uh. That's a good question, I'm sorry. Uh, ooh, I received a, a cast in the mail one time. It just, told me to, it just it smelled really bad, so I think that's, that's one of the weirder ones I've gotten. Uh, I, don't, I have no idea. I, pretty much everything I've been gifted from a fan has been good. How are you recovering after your injury, Joey? Uh, good. I've had you know a lot of months to to get back my health back to you know 100%. So I'm um, did a lot of rehab early in the off season, and uh, right now I'm good to go. Thank you. Thanks. Do you ever feel pressured with all those cameras filming you? Yes, all the time. All the time. Uh, yeah. If it looks like I have it together, I don't. Trust me. Uh, I'm just out there, just trying not to think about it, and you know. We, we get help with our media. We have people that help us so to stay calm and relax. Thank you. Do you have any pregame rituals? Um, listen to music. Uh, we play little cards in, uh, in the clubhouse. Just a lot of stretching. Get um, so, a lot of uh, stay in the hot tub and get warm and just... Uh, just get your mind right as in visualizing what you trying to prepare for the game. Yeah, it's definitely there's definitely a mental side to it. Uh, like you said, uh, I have my pregame playlist. Uh, you know, I put my cleats on. You know, the same way. I, I take my wrists the same way every time. Uh, so it's pretty. Yeah, I have a lot of them. Thanks. Thanks. Where's your favorite stadium to play in besides Camden Yards? Besides Camden. Uh. I 
I go with uh, Boston because uh, I made my uh, debut there and coming out to um, Sweet Carolina was really sweet in the eighth <laughs> inning. So and um, having a lot of history in Boston is really uh, great to be be able to pitch in there for my debut. Ooh, I might I might have to go with Yankee Stadium. I think that's a that's a good one. Uh, it's really fun you go in there and win. So in front of those in front of those crazy fans. That's a plus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like shutting those guys up. Yeah. Uh, What was the funniest joke you heard last season? Oh man. <laughs> well, we got we got Caleb Joseph, our uh, team class clown. So I don't really have a top joke, but just letting him be able to open his mouth and just say all those weird stuff that comes out of his mouth. That's that's yeah. that's pretty much it. <laughs> Uh, don't sleep on Kim either. Just because he doesn't speak English doesn't mean he's not a comedian. That, <laughs> he, he's a personality as well, so he's, he's a jokester. Right, thank you. Do you like baseball? I love baseball. Yeah, we all love it. You love baseball? I, I play softball. Nice. nice. What position do you play? Um. All of them. All of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Stick with those. <laughs> Play them all. What's your guys' favorite song to jam out to in the clubhouse? Ooh. Uh. I, I don't really have any, anything by the weekend. That's my favorite. That's my favorite guy. So anything by him, really. Anything up tempo. Uh, getting ready for a game. Um. I'm not, uh, I like a lot of the old music, like uh, jazz, um, Luther Andro, Ray Charles, um, a, lot of, a, lot of old, a lot of old music. And I also wanted to say, Joey, you're my favorite player in the oh entire Oh, my gosh. World. What happened to me? What? <laughs> hey. yes. I love hey, you. You, you can yeah. say <laughs> second. Second? I want to be number one. <laughs> hey, next time say that behind closed doors. Hey, get, get back in line. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Joey, what made you so good? Oh man, I've had a lot of good people around me my, my entire life, and uh, and I don't know how good I am, but it, it's it's a it's more than just me. It's uh, my teammates, my coaches, uh, it's the fans, it's everybody that's kind of made me who I am today. It's awesome. This is for Michael. How did it feel striking out all those Blue Jays and making their fans be quiet in the playoffs? <laughs> uh, it, was, it was a really great moment, uh, even striking out all the Blue Jays, even the best moment uh, coming in with uh, first and third with one out and getting a double play with uh, the help with uh, Manny Machado and Jonathan Scope and uh, Chris Davis making that pick. So that was the biggest moment I say I loved last year. Good job, by the way. Thank you. How, how do you pitch so good, Michael Gibbons? I don't know. It's the help and support of you being here. All right. Uh, all the fans and all the coaching staff and all the support of Baltimore and pushing me to get better every day. Um, we want we wanted the Ravens to, but they didn't. They're not there, so I'm gonna keep it that way. Yeah. If, oh, I don't know if I should answer that. <laughs> Since the Ravens aren't there, I'm gonna uh, go. Patriots. I'm gonna go with Tom Brady and the Patriots. We gotta go. <laughs> I don't like them either. I don't want them. That's why I said we want oh. the Ravens. <laughs> They're not there. How hard is it to catch the balls in the outfield? Um, it is very difficult, uh, especially with all all the screaming fans and the and the bright lights, and uh, it makes it a little more tough. But uh, at the end of the day, you do it so much, it it really becomes natural at the end.
Joey, was it difficult to sit so much of the season out after starting it so well? Uh, yeah, it was. It was, it was tough uh, being in Yankee Stadium one day and the uh, next day you're you know, in Sarasota just walking around you know, rehab by yourself. So it was definitely tough to sit out, but uh, you know, I, I had a lot of support, kept in touch with a lot of the guys, and uh, they kept me motivated to get back to 100%. What's your favorite ice cream topping? Marshmallows. Oh. Easy. Oh, I don't know. Or gummy bears. <laughs> Either one of those is fine. Wow. Uh, I love Coldstone. So when I go to Coldstone, strawberry, um, gummy worms, and Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Who's your favorite person to sit next to in the dugout? Adam Jones. Because the camera is always on him, so I want to get on the TV too. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, we um, in the bullpen, I, I sit next to uh, Darren O'Day, so I try to hopefully compete with him, trying to catch home runs in the outfield. Okay, thank you. What number of the lineup do you like to be in, Joey? I mean, I'll take any, you know, as long as I'm in there. But, you know, my whole life I've always been a leadoff hitter. So, I mean, that's where I'm probably most comfortable. But, like I said, any, as long as I'm in there, it doesn't really matter. What's your favorite baseball memory? Ooh. Man, it, it, it'd have to be this year. It'd have to be opening day uh, when everything I ever lived – Therefore, kind of, kind of came true. <laughs> so definitely, opening day, April fourth. Thank you. <laughs> Does anybody recognize you when you're out in public? Uh, they recognize him. He's on that Royal <laughs> Farm uh, commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere in the world do they recognize me except for Baltimore. It's, that's what I mean. I love this place so. You know, every now and then, somebody will wave me down and, and say something here, so it's pretty cool. Who is your favorite superhero? Nice. Uh -huh. um, man. I'm going to say um, Spider-Man. I'm going to say Captain America. <laughs> Attention span <laughs> is gone. How old were you when you started playing baseball? I was three years old when I started. I was about 10, 10 or 11. Who do you think is the funny person on the Orioles? Caleb Joseph. Hands down, Caleb Joseph. He, he's a team comedian. He, he does it all. Imitations, jokes, it's something new every day with him. It's impressive. Who do you feel like you have to live up to the most on the team? Mm. I won't say you have to live up to. Just if you do work hard and do what you're capable of doing and, and contribute whatever you're capable of doing in the team, you don't really have to live up to anything. You just have to live up to yourself to help the team as best as possible. True. There's a lot of leaders out there that, you know, you want to kind of model your game after and be, you know, just as good a teammate as them. But at the end of the day, like you said, yeah, it's, it's all about yourself and uh, – you take pride in what you do, and you can be whatever you want to be. Yeah. How did you become an Oriole? Oh, man. Like I said, I, was start, I started playing baseball when I was 10, and just everything that just kind of came together, uh, practice, teams, high school, college, and uh, finally I got an opportunity, and they selected me last or December of 2015, and you know, I've been here ever since. I uh, just getting drafted by the Orioles and out of high school and uh, um, a t team with a good, good culture and great fans. So uh, they allowed me to play short, then got converted to play, uh, be a pitcher. Who's the slowest player on your team? <laughs> well, this on video, we can't say that. We can't. <laughs> It's one of the pitchers. I don't know which one. They're all wow, they're not as like, fast we're, we're as, as uh, <laughs> Alpha. We're still athletes. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. 
Oh, slowest <laughs> person. Um, oh. I don't know. We're all pretty athletic, believe it or not. I don't know. Maybe, shoot. I don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite off-season activity? Um, golfing. Like I said, I'm not good at it. I, I don't really call it golfing. I call it a lot of fetching. So that's my fa favorite activity in off season. Uh, I like traveling. I like doing, uh, you know, I don't do any, you know, skiing or snowboarding like that, but I like going to the snow and, you know, going to a cabin and relaxing and just kind of hanging out. What's your favorite sport besides baseball? My favorite sport is basketball, for sure. Favorite sport, basketball, uh, especially uh, growing up watching with my, uh, one of my grandfathers that was a really good basketball player. Thanks. If you could play with one old baseball player, who would it be? Ooh. Like, who? I'll say. Ozzy Smith and Bill Ooh. Jackson, those are uh, two, like, Idols I looked up to was the infielder, uh, and Bo Jackson, one of the best athletes to ever play and, and be able to play multiple sports as a high level. Bo Jackson's a good one. Uh, I'd probably say, probably say Babe Ruth. I just want to see kind of what all the hype is about, see how far he can really hit it. That'd be, that'd be cool to see. What's the biggest mistake you've made but taught you the biggest lesson? Um, not, well, the great thing about baseball, you make mistakes all the time. You deal with a lot of failure at the same time as a hitter. You go uh, three for 10 and you're a Hall of Famer. So you, during, for baseball, you, you're making mistakes a lot of throughout the roads is trying to get, pick yourself up and pick yourself up and teammates and to help from their mistakes and your mistakes as well. I'd say, yeah, baseball-wise, uh, it's hard. It's it's tough to not let that first mistake, you know, transition to a bunch in a row. It, it's and I've done that multiple times, whether it be in the outfield, just getting upset or about a previous at bat or something like that. So it's it's very important to to let that go and just realize that mistakes happen. On opening day, when you're back, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> On opening day, when people started cheering Joey, do you believe that our family started that cheer? Yes, I do. We did. Now I do. Do you oh like my it? I love it. It's like most important Yeah, my important dad's thing ever. insanely loud, so. <laughs> That's awesome. Get used to it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, what's the best play you made? Uh, my, uh, last year, I, uh, I, uh, the one against the Indians, uh, broken back against Kipnis, went over my head, uh, bare hand play, and I flipped it to Chris Davis, and he bare handed it. Uh, early in the year, I, I took a home run from, away from uh, Tulowitzki on the Blue Jays, and that was, that was kind of what people started recognizing me by. And uh, I work out at the same place as him in the off season too, so it's kind of it's fun to give him that look every now and then. Who was your favorite coach before you went into the major leagues? Ooh, uh, my high school coach taught me a lot. Uh, he played for a long time, uh, so I'd have to say definitely high school. Yeah, same here. My high school coaches and coaches before then, uh, they still uh, call me out every time and make sure my head's on right and they're always, uh, always behind me and push me in the right direction still. Guys, I think we're about done. You kids ask great questions. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> Quick announcement. When you got, we do have to clear the room for every session, so sadly we all have to leave now. Please go out the door to your left when you're going out. And how about a hand for Michael and Joey?